Welcome back to your machine learning A to Z course. In this tutorial, I'd like to give you a quick heads up about the non-linear support vector regression. So what we discussed previously uh, was intuition for SVR indeed, but uh, this was intuition of the linear support vector regression model. And while it's a great start into the world of SVR, it is just a start. There is so much more to support vector regression. Uh, this was a simple linear model. There are actually other models. Um, and rest assured, they will be covered in this course. So they are coming up and we'll be talking about, uh, for instance, the RBF kernel, uh, SVR, uh, and the kernel trick and all these important things that make this model even more robust. However, I wanted to give you this heads up because already in the upcoming Python tutorials that are coming right after you know, just following this tutorial in this section, you'll be working with Adlan to create your first uh, SVR model and the SVR model will already be non-linear. So here you can see the results, like I've blurred them out on purpose because um, I wanted not to. I wanted to make sure you don't get uh, a spoiler by seeing the results in terms of the numbers, but you can see the model itself here, and you can see that it's non-linear. It's not just a straight line, and that is because we're using, or Adlan will be showing you how to use uh, the radial basis function, a kernel for this SVR. So it's already going to be a non-linear SVR. So now, what's uh, the reason for this uh, heads up? Well, the thing is that. The non-linear support vector uh, regression will be covered off further down the course beyond this section. So there's a bit of a mismatch, but that's uh, done on purpose because that's the easier way to grasp these concepts. And I'll explain in this following slide. So this is what <laughs> this is what the non-linear SVR will look like, right? So compared to this, this is your linear model. As you can see, it's much more complex over here. We have to go into a third dimension and perform some calculations or some modeling there and go back. So it is quite involved. And in order to get there, um, the following tutorials are essential. So first in the section on SVM, you'll find a tutorial called SVM Intuition. So that's an essential tutorial to take uh, in the steps to getting to um, kernel SVR uh, or non-linear SVR. Then in the section on kernel SVM, the following section, you can find them in the part of the course that is to do with classification. So in the section on kernel SVM, there's a tutorial called kernel SVM intuition. Then there's a mapping to a higher dimension, the kernel trick, types of kernel function, and then finally, non-linear kernel SVR. So as you can see, it's quite a complex topic topic and it comes at the very end of this list. So from here you have uh, two choices. You can either just uh, after this tutorial go straight to Adlan's Python tutorials on kernel on the SVR that are, that are coming up and just do them and just keep in mind that he's using a non-linear kernel and that will come later in the course. The intuition for it will come later in the course. Or if you would like to get the intuition before you do the practical side of things then um, it's essential that you would need to go through all of these tutorials that are mentioned on this slide over here, get to nonlinear kernel SVR and then come back to the Python tutorials. So there are two options. Um, my preference, if you ask me, I would just go for Adlan's Python tutorials. Now just keep in mind that he's using a nonlinear kernel, follow along with the code, and then you will still get the intuition when the time is right, when you get to the section on kernel SVM. So there we go. That's just a quick heads up on what's coming up. Uh, of course, the choice is yours. And in any case, please enjoy the course. And there's lots of fun tutorials coming up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, happy analyzing.